Hi, today I will show you how to grow tropical plants in a temperate climate in a greenhouse like here. So I will show it through the greenhouse. So at first we have here a passion fruit. They grow really well here. Here are some fruits. Oh, this is the first fruit of this plant. Then of course we have fig here, fig trees, lots of them, about I think 50 trees so far. Then next to a fig tree we have the coconut palm. Quite unusual to go fix next to a coconut palm, but it works. It's quite fine actually. I had a coconut palm before but I forgot to water it so it died. But this one will not die because it's planted out in the ground and not in a pot. Then I have a coffee plant. This plant is uh, one year old. It didn't do so well because it actually wants two attempts to test, but it has some coffee beans. Yeah. They're still green, that, but they will turn yellow or red soon. Of course we have papayas. Every greenhouse needs papayas or every tropical greenhouse. Uh, this stem, I cut it off uh, I think a month ago. So this is like four weeks old and has already fruits. So we have September so it grows faster than the winter. And it's like more permaculture design here. On the left side we have sugarcane. Sugar grain grows extremely fast here. It's really easy to plant, you just like, take a hammer and a sugarcane stick and hammer it into the ground and it will grow quite easily. Um, it's as a ground cover small bushes we have chilies like this one and they're really spicy then we have eucalyptus trees this is like the winter hardy eucalyptus kumii but we also have tropical eucalyptus like the rainbow eucalyptus trees um, orchids this orchid. Unfortunately it is far too warm in this greenhouse for so this orchid to get into a bloom. But we will put the greenhouse bigger and have a cooler greenhouse I can put it inside of it in the winter for like I don't know, a month or so so it will flower. Here I have also a papaya tree. I cut the papaya tree down because it um, was far too big and then it regrew and of course the papaya tree is hollow inside I planted a few plants inside like pineapple and I don't know what it is a different plant I forgot the name uh, still has no roots but I will make roots and this is charcoal inside of it or biofilm the tree is, I think, two years old, the whole tree. Papayas all over the place with papayas, but also pineapples. There are no fruits at the moment. You can see how they grow. Like, on the ground, take quite long. Uh, here on the top where the, the pineapple will grow, and after we harvest it, it will make, like, uh, puffs. You just twist them off and plant them again. So guys, here we have some orchids and other plants growing on a citrus tree. That grows really well, as, but you only need to water them like twice a day. So we have a raining machine in here, so this is no problem for us. 
The plants also need some fertilizer because in nature the leaves fall down but I don't like this because it will stink. There are some these plants. Uh, flies will drop inside. Um, orchids here. This one, uh, every plant is I think not more than one year old. Even this big orchid. And also some bromeliads. Right here. They go also really well. Yeah. The, f the tree doesn't flower so it, it has a bit of a use. Or oh, mental use. Here guys I have a strawberry plant. Quite unusual to grow a strawberry in a tropical climate. Like in this greenhouse, but it works actually. Uh, it has fruits more like in winter because in winter there's more sun in here because I cut everything back. But this is, I don't know what it is, uh, ever bearing strawberry. I think it's San Andreas, is the name of this variety. Strawberries taste quite good, but outside the, they will grow a lot better and have much bigger leaves than in here. Next to me are, them, are some uh, pepper plants, like Piper crocatum is the name. This plant never flowered, but I think the reason is because it grows on the ground. I planted also this Piper on the back on the greenhouse, growing up a fig tree, so it hopefully will go to flower. Because I n never found a picture of a flower or how it should look or how the cones or the seeds will look. Yeah. We have also we like sugar cane, lots of sugar cane all over the place. It goes really well. And some big flowers here. I'll show you like here. Yes. They're still closed. They're really huge. So Aristolochia gigantea brasiliensis. I don't know how you spell it in English, but this is how you spell it in German. Um, here are some ornamental plants also. I like this really. This is uh, Leucasia, Leucasia, something like this. A Gigantea laosi giant. It grows really big. This plant took, it took, I think, six weeks to grow from small plant like this to this size and since then it stayed pretty at the same size but I noticed it grows in winter a lot bigger the leaves will grow bigger I think because it's not so warm in here in winter it's still really warm but not so warm like in summer and here is also a big tree we already harvested them as you can see, yeah, awesome fruit. They also go outside, but inside <coughs> the greenhouse we can harvest, I think, nine months of the year. We can harvest figs, fresh figs. This tree oh, you can see is the second year old. Uh, last year I just put a stick in the ground and it grew. Yeah, some fruit. They grow a lot bigger. I will take really long. So here we have a banana plant. This variety is uh, called Musa Super Dwarf Cavendish. I don't know about so much dwarf, it's not. And next to it is the variety um, Musa Dwarf Cavendish. It was a bit bigger. It has good. The cycle between Fruits from, from a new pub coming up to fruit is like I think two weeks or three weeks less, so it has we have a lot more bananas. And the cycle is a lot faster, but it's quite good. But the ripening time is the same like the Super Dwarf Cavendish. The taste is actually really good if you let them ripening ripening on the plant. Here. I have some kurkuma. 
Uh, turmeric. Turmeric is the, in English the name. In German it's the Tumer. Um, they are not really good planted. I just threw some uh, bulbs here and they grow. Normally I take them out and plant them in rows like here. They are planted more likely in rows. Harvest time is like in February. I go like up to two meters high. Um, best time for them to grow is in late autumn. But they will come up really late, like in June, end of May or in June, they're just starting to pop up. sugar banana. This banana grows really big, I think 7 meters or more, or 8, or eight meters. It has had one fruit before, but um, the fruit dried up over there because it's quite hot, I think up to 50 degrees Celsius. Really hot, and the, the plant doesn't like it. Yeah, the plant grows in a hole. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to grow this banana here. And still, it's really complicated because it will grow up to there. And grows really sm um, slow. It doesn't like these high temperatures. It's more like a plant that thrives in cooler temperature. Here, you can see how I grow bell peppers and normal peppers, like the hot peppers, all year round in a greenhouse. These are planted in uh, July. I think the beginning of July. Um, they also grow best in winter, not in summer. But I want them to grow better in winter than in summer. Because in winter, no one has fresh bell peppers that taste really good. In summer, so many people have bell peppers. They grow 30 different varieties. Like this one. So it's a bit longer, a long grade here it is. And here, a different one. This one is uh, California Wonder. California Wonder, something like this. And this one I've got the name, but this should get a lot bigger. Like, uh, I think 600 gram. A bit over a pound. So really big. But <laughs> not yet. Uh, the plants grow underneath papaya trees. As you can see here, they no companion plants really for them. Uh, for the papayas, uh, these are no companion, but I use the space a lot more effective. I also grow them under banana trees. Oh, herbs actually they are not trees. Like here, the apple banana. <laughs> Yeah. This plant will be planted in the big greenhouse uh, I don't know, in two months when it's sold because it grows far too big in here. Also, like I think six, six or seven meters high. <laughs> 